Datel lives with her mother in the lands of Eldaman, a fantasy world where almost all humans have magical abilities and as always there are constant struggles between the forces of good and evil in this world and these ongoing conflicts were ended after the great battle which happened ten years earlier where the forces of light defeated the Prince of Darkness once and for all and after that it was rumored that he still managed to survive this intense battle and that he was in hiding while planning his revenge and meanwhile the Celestial Academy which trained students to become masters in the art of magic had moved up its entrance exam so much earlier than normal, they would begin to worry about an imminent threat of evil and they therefore plan to train and prepare his students to be ready for the battle to come and in the story Tell is part of a clan called Mao, which in turn constantly rivals another clan called Tao, but it turns out that Tell is one of the few people who was born without magical powers in this world, which kind of puts him as a failure in this world here, but even though he lacks the most important thing for him to be a leader of the clan Tao, he still dreams of it in some way, and he wants to then to become the Prince of Light to be able to fight against evil, and for that Dottel's plan is to enter the renowned Magic Academy to learn the skills necessary for this, and in the meantime he works in a restaurant with his mother helping with the service and cleaning, but he often spends time narrating different stories about the village's past, and he does this with a lot of excitement and adding a lot of drama too. Another thing about Dottel is that he claims to be one of the descendants of the hero of the great battle, but whenever his mother hears him telling these stories she interrupts him and tells him to go back to work, but this time his best friend arrives at the restaurant and he once again starts telling his lies, and he announces a lack of his friend's magical powers then, making everyone start laughing at Dottel there, and then his mother goes and hits him with a spoon and tells him to go away to make deliveries to the restaurant, so the two friends leave together to start making deliveries, and along the way they discuss the upcoming university entrance exam while walking through the dark streets, and then Dottel's friend reveals that he has been studying for the university entrance exam for more than 13 months with different teachers, only different from Dottel he has no real interest in joining the academy, but he is being forced to do so by his parents, and so when telling about his plans to appear for the exam, he then calls it stupid and tells about the seriousness of the assessment and the dangers that accompany this exam, where only the best magic users would be selected, and where previously 30% of participants would have lost their lives in each round, and the worst of all is that, without magic, Dottel would have almost no chance of passing the round, and while they were there arguing among themselves, suddenly they see some guards chasing someone, they pass by them at full speed and then they take the opportunity to prove their worth, and they run after them through the forest as if they knew what they were doing, Dottel then hangs on the side of a tree and sees the the three men dressed in black and he assumes that they are Clamo's spies, and so the men suddenly disappear in the darkness, he tries to look for them but in instead he is led to a beautiful girl by a swarm of fireflies, and this girl is sitting on top of green vines with a radiant green light around her, and Dottel has no idea that she could be the evil spy and runs away to the girl, and then the three men from before who are Elderman's guards arrive there to arrest the girl, but before they can do anything Dottel, all excited, runs there and activates all the traps, he then puts himself in the in front of the girl who, by the way, is a very pretty girl with white hair, and he does this as if he were protecting her, but the guys start telling him that he is doing everything wrong, because despite her cute appearance she was truly dangerous, but people who watch anime know that no real good protagonist listens to reason, and Dottel fulfills this requirement very well because even after listening to the guards he remained there willing to defend the girl as if she were a defenseless maiden, and the worst thing is that even with Dottel doing all this nonsense, the guards couldn't do anything against him, because he was a citizen so they would have to protect him and they couldn't cast any spell against him, and they stay there listening to all the nonsense he is saying and when he turns around he suddenly comes face to face with a demonic plant that the girl had summoned to attack them before running into the forest and then the plant then starts to destroy everyone the guards and chases Dottel pushing him and forcing him to the ground and then suddenly he hears another demonic voice talking to him and this voice asks him if he wants to have powers and well that's all he ever wanted so he immediately accepts and after that he is filled with demonic powers which he uses to finish off the monster before falling to the ground and meanwhile the girl who we now find out is called Rue, continues to run away into the forest until she is stopped by another member of Clamo, and this guy who for her is the type of character that just by his appearance we already know that he is not good, and this is soon confirmed when the guy asks her what she had discovered about Clamo, Rue then responds and says that security had been increased during the entrance exam, which meant that they must be expecting the presence of someone important for that year, and the man then assigns her a new task and asks her to she disguises herself as a boy, so she can infiltrate the exam and destroy everything from within, then he gives her a special cloak to change her appearance and he leaves, and then Dottel wakes up the next day in his own bed, and early on his mother starts teasing him for having messed up all the restaurant deliveries the night before, because it's Dottel, the one who told him to pay as a hero still went and saved the villain, and then we discover that Dottel he only woke up in his own bed because his mother had actually found him while she was trying to find out about her deliveries from the restaurant, and then by chance while doing that she ended up finding her son thrown in the forest and rescued him, and then while the two are there fighting, Dottel's mother tells him that she arranged a date for him, but Dottel 
is not happy to hear that. He reveals to his mother that he is intending to take the exam at the Magic Academy, but that his mother is not at all willing to let him take the Academy exam, and to stop Dottel from taking the exam, she ties her own son upside down tied to a beam. She leaves there saying that she is going to buy food for the visitors and she tells Dottel to stay there and wait for her suitor, and minutes later a guy the size of a closet with hair appears at Dottel's door, but this guy for some reason is wearing a dress and he is Dottel's suitor, and then we realize that Dottel's mother must not like him very much to find a suitor like that for her own son, and then while Dottel is there getting to know his gorilla suitor a little better, suddenly his best friend appears at the door, his house, and he starts laughing at Dottel's situation with that gigantic girlfriend, and then after laughing some more at his best friend's face, the two finally manage to escape and head towards the exam, and while they as they were running, Dottel ended up bumping into Rue, but he didn't recognize the girl because now she was already in her boy form, and when Rue gets up she is very irritated, so she goes to the exam gate, and as soon as she she also crosses the gate so that the boys cannot enter, but Dottel and his friend Luiro Aguado still manage to find a way to enter the exam in another way. Dottel argues with the girl for locking him out, but then the watery guy calls him and tells them to go and sign up so they don't miss the exam. The Elderman candidates then gather around a teacher and start listening to the exam instructions. The test is for the psychic division of the academy uncle, and is then told that the first two rounds would be conducted externally in their individual areas, while for the third round they would return to the gym, and so after passing all three rounds the participants would receive a basic certificate indicating that they were masters of Elderman, which was the first step towards becoming a professional Elderman fighter, and so the two friends scan the room to check out all the other participants and get a good look at who will be competing against them, and they notice that many of them there were renowned citizens who had been training for years like the Elderman masters and that's why they had already learned several magical skills, but attacking their lice there is constant, they end up catching the teacher's attention. While he is explaining, soon the teacher turns to them and gives them some pressure telling them to be quiet, and at that moment, moment when the teacher turns to fight with them, everyone ends up looking at Dothio, and then everyone remembers him as the son of a bitch. Restaurant owner who was always telling lying stories, talking about adventures that had never happened, a lot of nonsense. Everyone starts laughing at Dothio after that, but the teacher asks them to be quiet, and she then announces that only the first one's 200 people completing the tasks would pass the exam, and everyone else would be sent home afterward. And no portal to the exam forest opens and everyone goes crazy about it. They are then moving closer to make paths for themselves, but while everyone is running towards the portal, Rue ends up bumping into Dothio to try to stop him from going through the portal, but then her friend Luaro Aguado goes and helps Dothio to get up and they go through the portal together. When they arrive in the forest they need to hunt a monster to prove their skills to the teachers and thus show that they were worthy of entering Elderman's magical energy. So, while Dothio is crawling around on the floor trying to find the monster, he suddenly sees a couple of flamingos or whatever animal they are making out with and they are not happy to be interrupted, but this is just the beginning of the problems of Dothio, because out of nowhere several candidates start running towards Dothio, in the exact opposite direction he was going, and then we see that out of nowhere a gigantic white tiger appears right in front of him, and for some reason when this tiger looks for Dothio it looks like he's nothing more than a package of nuggets, so the tiger attacks the protagonist and ends up kicking his leg. Dothio is now unable to move properly, and it looks like it's going to be the end for him. him. However when the tiger is about to have his meal suddenly a green mark, a magical rune appears on Dothio's back, and after seeing this rune for some reason the tiger seems to get sick and even loses his appetite, he then leaves turns and leaves out of nowhere, and Dothio stands there without understanding what is happening, because he is the protagonist shown and he was saved by a rune I had an idea he had, and everything gets better for him because suddenly a girl appears there very cute, girl with pink hair, and this girl then offers to help him with his injuries, and she then starts using her magic to heal Dothio's injuries, they start talking and we find out that the girl's name is Shia, and then she asks Dothio if it was true that he wanted to be the next leader of his clan, but before the protagonist can respond the conversation is interrupted by Shion, who calls Shia to help his team and tells her not to worry. Stop with those teeth. And after that the exam loudspeakers announced that 191 students had already passed, which meant that there were only 9 places left for the magic school that year, and Dothio was desperate to hear that announcement because he he started thinking about his life, the life he would have to go back to if he wasn't approved, as he would have to go back to work at the restaurant and he would have to accept his gorilla suitor that his mother had found, and how little could be worse than this fate for him, he then decided to act, he had to find the monster to defeat anyway, but the problem was that after that mysterious rune had appeared on his back, for some reason all the monsters were running away from him, realizing so he decided to come up with a strategy to use this to his advantage, so he created a trap to attract the tiger to him, but when the tiger realized that it was Dothio he tried to escape once again, only this time Dothio was already there, smart and had devised a trap and managed to capture the tiger, the test was already ending so Dothio ran out to get through the portal with those who passed, he shouted for them to wait for him and when he crossed he showed the creature he had captured, but the tiger that used to be so scary was now nothing more than a cute kitten for some reason, and then once again everyone started making fun.
fun of Dothio saying that he was ridiculous, that he was the monster he had captured and everything. But the instructor was able to see on the tiger that there was a spell that was changing his true self, and upon seeing that she knew that it indicated that someone was trying to sabotage the exam indicating that there must be a spy there, and as the teacher had realized that something was really wrong, she disappointed everyone and informed that Dothio had been approved. Several people were not happy with that decision but that's it, there was nothing to do, and well, as the instructor had revealed everything that had only happened because there was a spy in the test, and even though they don't know who it was, the people watching know that this spy is the rule, and now we also know that because there is some reason for the rule to prevent Dothio from entering the Magic Academy, also remembering that earlier she had closed the exam door in front of Dothio and his friend Loro Aguado to prevent them from taking the exam so that it wasn't the rule's first attempt to prevent Dothio from entering the magic school. But fortunately for our protagonist his rival had not yet been successful in her mission. Well after the first stage was completed the teachers then opened another portal and led the students to the second round to take place on an old bridge and the objective in the second round was to test their skills and then the first 50 students who reached the other side of the bridge before dawn would advance in the test and so many of the students ran to the bridge as soon as the round started without thinking and soon they all disappeared one by one in the middle of a frightening fog. Meanwhile the rest of the students waited for the teacher to leave and then followed but soon they had the notion because it was moving too fast for them and so as they crossed they encountered a group of students who were running first and they were passed out on the bridge. They were part of the group that had run away excited and the rule then began to see strange creatures that looked like dogs only they had tentacles instead of pairs and were crawling towards her and now that she was a boy she tried to use her magic to defend herself and fend them off and we then realized that these creatures depended on the direction they are in to move according to the sound and the ruler planned to use this to sabotage the day show in that second stage and so the rest of the students reached the middle of the bridge and also come across hundreds of those creatures she and her group created a protective barrier around themselves to defend themselves from the monsters while the two friends were hitting the creatures with their knives she stood there realizing that they only attacked when there was noise that is in addition to their healing magic she is also a very intelligent girl and after she realized this her group began to move in a crouched position to try to avoid making noise and well the plan works perfectly well until the smallest green Mysterla appears above them and thus a giant creature with tentacles and breaks off the bridge they try to remain silent and start to crawl past the giant but now this doesn't work and one of the students ends up being hit directly the three then activate their protective barriers once again and the watery blonde begins to take out their knives on it but they are unable to cause any damage to the creature and only irritate it and then she and her friend try to combine their attacks to try to cause some damage to the creature but they also end up having no success in doing so and then the monster suddenly activates a spell that turns everyone around it into stone. The only two that didn't turn into stone were those who were inside the protective barrier and so the creature grabs them and tries to suffocate them by wrapping the his body with his tentacle and the dactyl ends up fainting for a second and when he wakes up he finds himself floating in another realm and once again the same demonic voice before appears and she returns to speak to him again from behind a giant magical seal and the demon tells him that his powers had now been sealed in his body by people many years ago and that if he helped him break that seal he would receive great power capable of helping his friends on the bridge at that moment and the creature says that all he needs to do to have this power is touch the seal and release it and daddle as he doesn't have many options almost does what the creature says but he stops a little and starts wondering if that couldn't be some trick and the demon then insists showing him the true power he could possess if he did so in that partnership and that ended up being enough to make the daddle touch the seal as it is if you thought the protagonist was going to be rational or you were wrong and for a second i confess that i thought so too and so with a newly acquired power he frees himself from the giant and destroys his body. Unfortunately what he didn't know that the demon he had freed was the demon king himself. It was the prince of darkness who was now possessing his body. He absorbs the purple soul of the fallen monster and then attacks Chia afterwards. She even tries to defend herself but she is not for the demon king and ends up being defeated. The teachers see a big explosion happen on the bridge and realize that something had gone wrong and they get there just in time and the head of the academy then hits the daddle's body thus activating a spell to trap the demon king back in his body after which they then erase the memories of all the students and plan to better monitor the daddle and as the giant creature had been killed the stone spell on the students ended up being reversed and they started to come back to life one by one and everyone is very confused with what had really happened and to make everything even more confusing when they look they see that daddle and chia are lying there without any clothes lying down both are unconscious so the watery blonde runs to daddle to check on his best friend and at that moment daddle wakes up in style already landing a blow to his friend's head and daddle then reveals that he doesn't remember anything that had happened there on the bridge he didn't even know what he was doing there with the Chia after all. Just that him being there with the Chia and the two of them without using anything on their body ended up getting the badly and left one of Chia's friends well filmed and he then went to take satisfaction with Daddle. But Daddle assured that nothing had happened and that he didn't even remember how they had gotten there. You know, right, like that the same.
saying goes, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, right? Even if you've watched this far, I want you to comment here that Daddle is the hero of Vegas because the guy out of nowhere woke up with the girl next to him, the two of them didn't they're wearing nothing, he doesn't even remember what happened, it might have more of a Vegas vibe than that, I don't think so, so leave a really random comment talking about Vegas and we'll bug everyone who gets here in the video, people will arrive and see a bunch of comments about Las Vegas hero and they won't understand anything, leave this comment there and it will end up being very funny, then you come back here to see the comments, and well while Chia's little boyfriend he was there all pistol whipped with Daddle fighting with him, suddenly the teacher arrives there to put things in order, and she then says that that giant creature that appeared there was not part of the exam and that is that incident had put everyone's lives in trouble on the bridge next door he decided that everyone who had fought there against that creature would be approved to enter the academy, and the teacher also reveals that she will be wary of the possible spy who is there in the group, Daddle is happy to hear that because it means that he won't need to go back to the restaurant or to his gorilla suitor, and so everyone celebrates when a portal opens, and this portal this time leads to Elderman's Magic Academy. For now all the students are there happy with their new achievement, one person is very unhappy, and Rikarol is not happy at all for not being able to eliminate Daddle once again, because it's Daddle you barely know, but a lot still awaits you with this 10 to 10 that you invented to save at the beginning of the anime, see, but well we'll stop here the first part of this recap I hope you liked it, and if you liked the video don't forget to leave your like and also subscribe here to the channel, this was probably the last recap here of the year so I want to thank you for your partnership throughout this year, and I promise that soon I will bring a very epic recap for you it took a while for you to have fun, for today it's just thank you very much for watching, thank you for being incredible otakus, thank you for always being with me, remember that I'm always with you and see you in the next video that will come out very soon, I promise, thanks, bye bye.